Good evening, Chris. Yes, we are actually in that gentleman's home, and as you can see, it is completely gutted from what Hurricane Ian did. Now, earlier today when I was speaking with him, he was telling me he really wants to rebuild. However, he keeps hitting a brick wall. I bought this property in 1997. A home Mohan Rafa bought about 25 years ago, which he tells me was his heaven on earth until it was destroyed by Hurricane Ian. I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. His beautiful dream home that sits right on the Caloosahatchee River. I'll take you inside if you want to. Now looks like this. Everything is gone. Trying to take the next steps in rebuilding, he keeps running into a key problem with his insurance company. Insurance lady wants me the picture of the house. Which were all lost in the storm, as well as his credit cards and billing statements. I said, lady, everything is gone. Everything is gone. My computer, my office, my papers. How the hell I give it to you anything? Nothing is here. Climbing the hurdles of the insurance companies isn't his only battle. He says his area is neglected with debris pickup. Only just cleared this uh, WBs now, maybe two weeks ago. It was all lying. You couldn't walk on the road. Despite his challenging year, when midnight struck on January the 1st, the new year gave him hope. And that's why I started cleaning the curve. Now, when I was speaking with Mahan, he did tell me he does have hope and that he will keep fighting until his house is rebuilt. From Fort Myers, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.